Hello everybody, Swami Nath here. Today we are going to see handling employment gaps in SAP Resume. Not only in SAP Resume, in all the technologies nowadays, getting uh, firing in any company is very common at present. So giving pink slip is very common. So you can follow all these steps, handling employment gap. So the first is freelancing job. Wherein you can go for uh, these websites like upwork.com or freelancer.com wherein you can register your uh, qualification, your work experience and based on your qualification and work experience, you can get the job. Freelancing job. You can work for two hours, three hours. Based on the work, they'll be paying you the money. Okay. So you can go for freelancing job. Next is online training, Udemy. You can, uh, you can get yourself registered in Udemy and you can go for online training. And there are lots of online training institutes also, which is related, related to your technology. Particularly in SAP, you can go for online institute. You can approach online institute for student. They can give you online student and you get much paid for it. Okay. Next step, offline training. You can approach local training centers for SAP, MM or ASD or FICO. Those things you can add, those uh, modules you can approach local for those modules you can approach local training centers they can give you students and you can earn money for your survival okay. next micro blogging here you will not be able to earn much money on this micro blogging but still you can do you can be in touch with the subject so that is what uh, people may be asking for it whether if you are going for any interview for a particular gap after six months or one year they will be asking you what were you doing for the six months or one year so you can tell them that I, I was doing micro blogging or I, I was doing freelancing or I was taking online training or offline training. So you can tell them. So micro blogging is nothing, but you will not be able to earn much money on this micro blogging. But still, with, when you are an FICO, you can do micro blogging for SAP, FICO as well as for finance. For the MM, material management, you can do micro blogging for inventory management as well as SAP material management. If you are into SAP, SD, sales and distribution, you can do micro-blogging for both sales and sales as well as that is both domain as well as SAP. SAP model, SAP skill. Okay. So now if you are into production planning, that is production uh, domain, you can give, you can do micro-blogging for production as well as production planning. Next, you can approach for unpaid jobs to local companies. You can ask for any unpaid jobs based on your Achievements are based on your work. They, they can offer you they can offer you employment. So you can go for unpaid jobs. Here you here also it is not a permanent one, but still you can go for unpaid jobs. Okay. The best and the final thing is upgrade yourself. Upgrade yourself. Upgrade your skills. Upgrade your if you are into SAP MM, go for EWM, extended virus management. If you are into production planning also, you can go for external like EWM, APO, you can go for APO, advanced planning and optimization. If you are into sales and distribution, you can go for transport management, latest technology. If you are into HR, human resources, that is HCM, human capital management, you can go for employee central. So you can upgrade your skills and management skills. You can improve your communication skills. All those are all, these are all the steps you can do these are all the ways you can show up in the gap in your resume. Thank you.